Well, Nina Burley is a columnist for the New York Observer and author of The Fatal Gift of Beauty, The Italian Trials of Amanda Knox. She's in our New York studio and joins me now. Thanks so much for being with us. What do you make of this latest development? Well, I mean, I, it's, I think it's a mistake. I think that um, it was a mistake to convict them in the first place. And um, I think that... Uh, you know, Americans are often, we Americans who think that, that there has been a mistake made are often accused of, of being anti-Italian or anti, you know, or dissing the Italian justice system. And, and I want to make clear that these types of mistakes are very common in the United States and probably all around the world. When a prosecutor makes a mistake, they don't usually like to turn the ship around. And in this case, they, uh, they took the wrong people in early. Um, they were in a, in a rush to, to judgment. They accused them of a crime that they didn't have a motive for. They didn't have scientific evidence that could back it up. They soon found the person whose DNA and fingerprints were in the room and who has never denied watching Meredith Kircher bleed to death. And they didn't change their case based on that. And um, I think the Italian justice system works. It's, it's, a, it's a slow process. It has many levels. And um, obviously the defendants are going to appeal, I, I think, and uh, it will go on and on. We saw, we saw from uh, the appearance of Amanda Knox on American TV this morning, she was uh, very defiant in saying she would never go back to Italy. She would find that extremely difficult. Where do you see that going? Do you think the Italians will press for her uh, and press the American authorities to, to get her back to them? Um, I, I, that's really a question for the Italian uh, journalists. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that the, the prosecutor, at least at the first level where I was covering it, uh, was, you know, he, he was quite um, committed to this um, scenario that he painted. And so I think that he will continue to press it. Whether they try to extradite, how important is it for them to extradite this, this woman and bring her back? Um, I don't know, and, and whether or not they want to fight that fight because this, you know, she has attracted the attention of, of you know, top legal defense um, people in the United States who some of them are doing pro bono work for her, I think, and, and I think that uh, they, will, they will fight it. And so do, does the, do the Italians have the, have the, um, the need and this? I think, I think perhaps it, it will be enough that they have reconvicted her uh, and, and, you know, sort of uh, satisfying the, um, you know, the large number of people in Italy and I think in the UK, too, who think that, that you know, this scenario of, you know, Amanda Knox killing a Meredith Kircher with these two men is the accurate depiction of what happened that horrible night. She has proved a, a hugely divisive figure. We sort of saw two portrayals of her in the media. On the one hand, a, a young woman caught up in a, in a foreign country, caught up in a legal system she didn't understand. And on the other hand, these headlines, Foxy Noxy, and lots of uh, talk of her inappropriate behaviour, her strange behaviour. What did the American public make of her? Well, you know, I mean, I, I think that in the United States, as in Italy, and I guess as in the UK, uh, people are much more fascinated by the female um, criminal. And, you know, the sad truth is that most of these violent, most violent crimes committed against women are committed by men. Male violence is, a, is so common around the world and so mundane that we're just not as interested in it as we are in these, you know, the, the occasional uh, female alleged murderer. And um, so but in this case, I, I think, you know, the American response, I mean, you know, I can't really judge that. I think that, you know, the day before the verdict, people were calling me from your television network and asking me, what is the American, what are the Americans thinking about this? And I, Americans were not even thinking about it at all. I think yesterday when that court case, you know, when they announced the verdict, um, it got 30 seconds on CNN and Fox and that was it. And then everybody on social media was sort of what, what was that? Because people hadn't been paying attention to it. And now there's this sort of bafflement combined with the kind of an anti-Italian uh, stuff that's going on in the Internet. And it's very ugly and it's unfortunate. But this case, you know, it's a simple crime that has been built up, it, surrounded by sexist archetypes, um, you know, it, national pride and, unfortunately, racism. Um, and these combined things are what make people so 
interested and mystified by what really is a simple crime. And it's, it's very unfortunate that um, people have not put more effort into uh, finding out a lot more about Rudy Gaudet, who's never denied being in the room with Meredith Kircher's blood all over his hands. And, um, and, and you know, that, that person, Rudy Gaudet, will be walking on the streets of Rome very soon because he took a plea deal when he put Amanda Knox into the house. Okay. Nina, good to have your thoughts. Thanks very much for being with us. That's uh, U.S. journalist Nina Burley. You're welcome.